Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I just recently finished reading the Age of Darkness Horse Heresy novel series. As of May 2nd, uh, 2011, it is the latest installment of the Horse Heresy series. It's a short story compilation, so if you're not a big fan of, you know, short story books, you may not like this one too much. But I think it did a good job overall. Now, um, we get a variety of legions represented. We get the Ultramarines, the Iron Warriors, uh, a Salamander. Um, we get to see Thousand Sons and Dark Angels, all in their own short stories. The Dark Angels short story I enjoyed. We get some. We get some information. We get to see the um, the lion and the other the other the Anaspasians under his command who are all loyal to the Emperor do stuff, which is cool. Um, and uh, the Thousand Suns short story is actually pretty cool. I enjoyed that one. They're all good. I, I, I enjoyed all of them because I'm a sucker for Space Marine stuff. So, um, if you're a Space Marine fan, you'll probably enjoy this in general. Now, as a short story compilation, it's basically a, a sampler platter. Uh, it's like an appetizer, an appetizer, not an appetizer, an appetizer sampler. Is what it's kind of like. We get to see, we get to sample different events that are going on um, in the Horus Heresy. Pretty much after this is taking stuff taking place, um, a little bit after the uh, the Eastern Five drop site massacre, or like at that time. <clears throat> so that's kind of the time period of these short stories. It's. Almost like a filler, kind of like a, there's like a downtime between big novels coming out for the Horse Heresy series. So I think this is kind of like why they released this as it was. I'm not saying short story compilations are solely for filler, but it does seem like it's a good spot for it right now. But um, I did enjoy it. It was it was a, a fun read. It read, I don't it read a little quicker. I feel because it's not one novel trudging on through its own story. It's a bunch of little stories. <clears throat> so when you're done with one, you can move right on to the other one in a refreshed state of mind, not thinking, okay, it's another chapter and something. Not that you're really thinking that if you enjoy the novel anyway, but it can just get a little um, tiring reading, you know, one specific novel, like back to back to back to back, like constantly throughout the day, let's say. So switching it up kind of keeps it um, quick paced. A little bit so that was cool now <clears throat> as much as I enjoy them there are two short stories that come to mind that I feel could have been better done as a full novel the ultramarine short story based around uh, the creation of the Codex Astartes that Gaiman writes that the most chapters follow uh, these days you know post heresy and the Thousand Sun short story I felt could have been a very well done um, full novel, like, or had the potential to be a, a good full novel if it was done well. Um, the, the short story was done well, but I felt it could have been a, um, an even better full story if it was given the ability to be so. But I'm not going to go into why or anything like that because I don't want to spoil anything, but if anybody read the no the uh, uh, this novel as well, or well, the short story compilation thing for the Horus Heresy. If anybody read Age of Darkness already, um, maybe they should know what I'm talking about. But yeah, other than that, I enjoyed it. Um, whether you enjoy the Horus Heresy no uh, novel series or not, um, that's un entirely up to you. Some people don't, but uh, I, I, I do. As trashy as they may sometimes seem. So, I would say if you enjoyed the Horus Heresy novel series, um, especially if you like the Tales of Heresy, the, the other short story compilation, give this one a try. Um, if you're an Iron Warriors fan, there's a story in there for you. I mean, that's not a reason to pick up an entire book for one short story, but uh, I would say um, most people who enjoyed the Horus Heresy series would get a nice little refreshing type of uh, feeling here and reading a bunch of little short stories within the same space as the size of one novel. Although, like I said, I feel the Ultramarine short story and 
the Thousand Sun short story would have made better full-length novels for themselves, but that's not what we got here. Anyway, um, it's a nice little sampling, like I said, of stuff happening during this Age of Darkness, if you will, as it says in the novel title, uh, during the Horus Heresy time period. And um, it's just something to tie us over to the next full-length novel. So, if you want to indulge in the fan service they're giving us, go ahead. Uh, I'm not trying to make the book sound bad. I enjoyed it. It's just not a, a novel in and of itself. It's a short story compilation. And for what it is, which some people don't really enjoy that, I would say they did a good job, in my opinion. But then again, you may disagree, and that's fine. So, until next time, take it easy, guys.